and I have no doubt that whatever I have resurrected through this book is sure to come calling for me. Zombies would once again find themselves reinvented by the mad genius and independent filmmaker by the name of Sam Raimi. Raimi, who was a huge horror film fan that wanted to not only make his own horror movie with his friends, but wanted to reinvent the wheel with his own spin on things. Enter Evil Dead, when a group of friends find the famed Necronomicon in a lone cabin in the woods while on vacation they unleash an evil force known as Deadites, who are determined to possess, torture, and kill everyone there. Unlike your traditional zombies, Deadites only have the general rotting look of a corpse when they take over their host's victim, as they are more of an evil force than a physical being. Once they take over someone or something, they go about torturing their victims in dark and maniacal ways. It's more like they're cats who like to play with dead rats or creatures that they can kill at any moment. They take pleasure in the mindless torture of their victims before the inevitable kill. But instead of a half-naked damsel in distress running for her life, Evil Dead has Ash Williams, a cocky, brave, loudmouth, albeit witty man who's not gonna go down without a fight, and whose popularity would help turn this single film concept into a franchise and a cult classic darling for years to come. The film featured amazing visual and practical effects for the time, and introduced the flying prowling camera, which was Raimi's take on Hitchcock's prowling camera. This film technique was used to show the perspective of the evil forces flying around the cabin and area. The film would perform well and amass quite the popularity despite being a B-movie and would launch Sam Raimi into Hollywood stardom as he would later go on to direct another passion of his, Spider-Man. Join us next time as we continue our look into the zombie's history.